Hello, welcome to Asian Petro. Today we have 2021 Audi S6 for our night drive. We didn't want it to you to hear this welcome sound. Very lovely interior, right? Uh, so we're going to show you the moon lamp interior first because it looks awesome and go for a night drive and also show you the second row seats and headlamp system and tail lamp system working in detail so uh, if you love cars and car reviews please like this video and also subscribe to our channel so we can grow this channel together and have some more fun okay material check first uh, first of all let me just turn on the uh, some lights in here leather rear carbon aluminum suede lovely leather and soft touch and this this part the most bottom part is plastic this leather plastic carbon leather and black high glossy material here as well so but uh you know not really a big fan but overall it looks very premium inside we also have a good looking steering wheel d cut says s right here audi logo and uh, we also have a let me just turn it off three large screens up front 12.3 inch for the gate cluster and 10.1 two inch screens i mean not two inch 10.1 two screens for the uh, infotainment and also for the climate control so it's very nice uh, all are very easy to use but we rather have to press a bit hard and also gives you hip haptic feedback so it's actually very easy to use and we can also change the view of the uh, gauge cluster like this uh, you know audi a8 it looks very similar to audi a 8 but uh, audi a8 you can also put the map but this guy only offers two but i like this one with the tech in the middle it also has a sound generator but when we go out we're going to show you how it sounds and everything uh this guy also has a hd matrix headlamp system so i'm gonna put a b-roll pretty soon but it's supposed to be very brighter and uh you know i'm gonna show you pretty soon on the road but it's actually very very bright we also have a turn signal here um this is for the uh ooh, wiper uh it's it's on the front as well and when you uh splash it actually comes from the wiper do you see that <laughs> I don't think it's, it's too dark, but it's actually a very good system. And uh, I think you guys are all waiting for this, but uh, let me just show you the mood lamp then without any further ado. Okay, light visibility. So let me just uh, put my camera here so I don't miss a thing. So go to interior lights. Can choose among contour, visions, solar impulse maritime my favorite caribbeans and audi drive select uh, it changes when you change the drive mode selector uh, let's say go to efficiency efficiency uh, you know comfort is a little bit more yellow i guess auto is white dynamic red of course an individual you can also change it uh, from individual you can also change the surface surface meaning like like this part is surface and line means like these lines so you can change the brightness and color for the surface let's say the red you see that red we can go to white let's go to white and you can also kill the foot well yeah, you see that? It's off. And sometimes the hip, it's hard to press the uh, the button. So that's why I like physical buttons, but oh, this one is really hard to touch. Okay, now it's back on. Okay, can also just change the lines. Um, let's see, colors. You see? Blue, blue. Okay, so let's go with blue and red. <laughs> now let's go with the uh, surface blue too or i can just go to um this one 
Okay, so that's very nice. Um, let me just show you a few more things, interesting things. Um, navigation. We have a Korean map. Um, it's pretty okay, um, but uh, for Korean markets, you know, Hyundai and Kia, Genesis do have a better map and uh, better routes and everything. But what's interesting is when you go to search, you can actually write on here. <laughs> A. It says B. I have a bad B. handwriting. I'm sorry, guys. C. C. D. Don't. So it's actually a pretty nice system. You can write there too. And if you see on the bottom, you can also kill the uh, auto start and stop. Um, that's parking. That's uh, for the home address. You can also um, kill that. The 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 top one. They have a little things on the bottom, I don't know why, but uh, and generally you can also change the climate here. Uh, you also have a three-stage heated seats. Um, no uh, cool seats. That's a little bit um, disappointing for this price. It's uh, import for us, so I'm just going to put a, a pricing. It's very expensive. Uh, hazard light, even touch sensitive. Um, really don't like that. Um, also have a engine start and stop button. It's actually red. Let me just show it to you. Yeah, you guys see that? It's red. Yeah, red. ESC off, uh, dry motion selector. Um, when you take the ESC off and put the car into dynamic mode, this also has launch control. It's it's very fast yeah. car. Um, managed to do the 0 to 60 in just 4.9 seconds uh, this morning. So very, very impressive. Um, but this is S. Oops, sorry. This has, uh, I'm gonna tell you about the engine pretty soon, but uh, it actually has a three liter diesel engine. So, I mean, if you have a choice, I know you guys in the States, United States in North America, you guys have this S6 with a 2.9 liter turbocharged gasoline engine producing over 444 horsepower. And if you have the choice, please get it with 2.9 liter. I'm gonna show you, tell you why, but we only have it with three liter turbocharged diesel and um, you know if you're gonna get an S uh, I think you should get it with 2.9 liter turbo but it's nice to have a uh, you know volume knob for the, uh, the the audio system that's that's very nice we also have a gear selector it feels pretty good just press this button push forward to go to new reverse neutral drive and sports so and we also have a 360 camera. That's very nice. You can also do this Audi style. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty okay. Um, you can also do the front, rear, and everything. So, okay. So that's pretty good. Uh, graphics are great too. Um, also have a auto hold, electric parking. Hear that? Okay, pretty nice. Um, they also give you this, I guess, uh, you know, many people still do smoke in Germany, uh, I guess, uh, Audi. Cigarettes lighter. Uh, once again, it's really large. Uh, it's, you know, maybe it's for cigars, I don't know. Uh, this is what the key fob looks like. S logo on the back. You know, Audi unlock lock twice for the trunk. But the funny thing is you cannot, you can open it by pressing twice, but it will not close by pressing twice. Two cup holders, not really a big fan, but large here and here, uh, high black glossy material. And seats do feel very nice. I love the, love the leather. It's very comfortable, large seats. It also says S right here. What's a flash? Yeah, nighttime review is a bit more difficult. So if you're enjoying this, guys, please uh, like and also subscribe to our channel so we can grow this channel so we can have much, much more fun. So um, I think I showed you everything about the, the first row seats. Let me just uh, also show you this one. We also have a 19 speaker system by Bang & Wolfson. You see that Twitter coming up and down. So gonna let you hear the this system uh, when we are on the road. And let me just quickly also show you the uh, second row seats. You see? Also give you that S logo. Nice. Uh, 
kick plate also lights up, nice. And uh, this one also lights up. We also have moon lamp here on the bottom as well. Very nice. And really wanted to show you this. This part actually lights up. Let me just get inside and show it to you guys. Just turn this off. It's for the uh, first row seats and second row seats. This part actually, the buckle, where you put your buckle, actually lights up. Very nice. Um, we also have a you know, moon lamp for the footwell on the side and everything so very nice place to be we also have a suede on the side leather and also rear carbon and leather it's nice to have air vents on the b pillar two more on the bottom climate control actually quad climate control two c type charging ports cigar lighter again um you know quit smoking is pretty good for you <laughs> large hump in the middle cup holders like this very small storage area. I think you can just barely put your phone in here. So that's pretty good. Okay, I think I showed you everything about the car um, from inside. So let me just go out and quickly show you the car from outside because I need to show you the headlamp system and taillamp system. Okay. <music> Let me also show you the car from the front. We have S6 logo right here, Audi emblem, and it's all blacked out for the S6 model. You cannot find any chrome from up here. And let me just put a B-roll for this guy. It's actually HD matrix LED headlamp system, which is supposed to be a lot brighter compared to regular LEDs. So let me just put a B-roll. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, and this is what? horn sound side. Okay. okay let me also show you the engine room we actually have this guy with three liter diesel engines if you see it also has 48 volt mild hybrid system this guy actually makes about 350 horsepower 516 pound feet of torque engine made it to a speed automatic we also have quattro all-wheel drive system so we're gonna let you hear it how it drives soon. We also have 21 inch rims, red calipers. It also says S6 right there, Puri P0. Looks pretty good, yeah. And let me also just put a B-roll system. That's backup and sequential turn signal. It also says S6 right here, Audi logo, um, diffuser in the middle and actually quad exhaust but they're actually fake <laughs> it's located on the left bottom side so if you're gonna get an audi s6 i think you should get it with 2.9 liter turbocharged gasoline engine um it's hard to see the trunk so please refer to my daytime review it actually handled quite nicely this afternoon so i'm going to talk about how it drives more on the road okay it's quite cold day here in korea All right guys, on the road with 2021 Audi S6. First of all, visibility is quite nice. We have large windows all around and side mirrors are quite large enough too. So it's actually quite a large car, but it's pleasant and not hard to drive. And uh, you know, all these three screens doesn't bother you all that much. And you know, the uh, moon lamp, it's actually pretty good. You can also lower it if you think it's too bright. Okay, so I just put it in the middle so it doesn't bother you guys too much. Okay, we also have um, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. So as you can see, you can set it up to like this and very stable system. Yeah, very stable system. But when there's no dotted line, it will kind of wander around. So you always have to keep your hands on the steering wheel, right? So for your own safety, okay? But overall, 
in highways when there's clearly marked lanes, you know, it's no problem. Very delicate system. So, very nice. Uh, this uh, Audi S6 feels very nicely isolated. Also, it feels very stable. So, it's it can be very good highway cruiser long distance journeys and seats are very comfortable as well so i think this can be very good highway cruiser as well and even when we're doing crazy corners it helped me pretty nicely as well so overall very nice car uh, we also have paddle shifters right now we also have a uh, five drive modes right now we are we were in comfort modes we can just put it into auto And adaptive cruise control will also support stop and go functionality. So it just came to a full stop on its own. It says ready to drive. We also have an auto hold, so you don't have to be keep on pressing brakes while you're stuck in the traffic. Okay, let's do a talk about powertrain for a second. It's really unfortunate that we're only getting this Audi S6 with three liter turbocharged diesel here in Korea. I know you guys are getting it with 2.9 liter turbocharged gasoline engine. And if you're gonna get one, please do get it with 2.9 liter turbo gasoline. I mean, this three liter diesel also makes plenty of power, but limited RPM range just ruins all the fun. And the sound generator is just too artificial. Right now we're in auto, but if you put it into, let's see, dynamic mode it just feels a little bit too artificial for me but this three liter just pulls very nicely but what i'm saying is if you're gonna get s6 you know supposed to be the performance variant of a6 i suggest you get it with 2.9 liter turbo It's, it's fast, like I told you. It will do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds and pulls very nicely and you know, sounds loud too with the sound generator, but I would love to have more RPM range and just more heart beating sound from a gasoline engine. I mean, I can show it to you. I mean, this with the sound generator on and off, Let's just go to uh, driver selector. If you go to individual, uh, there's also sound generator. So we're in loud mode. If you, this is with quiet. See the difference? So loud, quiet, loud. So it just, and like I told you that the touch sensitive buttons are okay, but when you're driving, if you're in hurry, it just never works right. Quiet, loud, quiet. So guys, do let me know how do you like the uh, sound generator in the comment section. Not really my style. So Steering wheel feels great, uh, right size, and um, this thing, S6, I'm not really sure about the powertrain, but I really love the brakes and also handling characteristics of this Audi S6. Uh, quattro system, I tried the first time, uh, the corner today, and really just bites the road. But I think it was a little bit too cold for period P0, but the Audi Quattro system really knows how to put a smile on your face. Um, Audi says it will send, when it needs to, it will send 85%, up to 85% of the torque to the rear. And I do believe him because at the corner, when I was flooring it <laughs> on the exit, actually the rear tires was actually spinning. So, Quattro system, very effective. Woohoo! <laughs> Now we have a Volkswagen Passat in front. And uh, the LED, HD LED headlamp system is very bright. We also have a 8-speed automatic. 
Uh, let me just show it to you. So, three, four, five, six. So it just shifts very quickly, but it's just the RPM range, see? It will shift before 5,000, so it just ruins all the fun. And like I told you, this is supposed to be S, right? So uh, the powertrain and uh, gearbox, the engine and the gearbox uh, seems a little bit not sporty enough for S6. I mean, this would be awesome for uh, A6 with 3 liter diesel, but not particularly sporty enough to be called S6, I think. But overall, um, yeah, it's, it's a great car. It'll cost you a lot, <laughs> but great car. It just pulls very nicely. Ooh. Brakes are phenomenal, doing phenomenal. Great job. We also have electrically controlled adaptive suspension. So in comfort mode, it's very comfortable. And I really like this S6 on freeways because it just feels very stable and steady. So this, I think this is built for um, Autobahn. Yeah, so feels very good uh, on straight cruising, fast cruising speedways. Okay, let me just set the adaptive cruise control because now we're at the average speed zone again. So let me just also let you hear the uh, 19 speaker sound system by Bang & Wolfson. It's a very nice system. Sounds very crisp with a great bass. I told you my favorite number one favorite uh, car sound system is Lexicon. Um, this Baron Wolfson 19 speaker sound system is very on par uh, with that system and it just sounds very crisp and just handles bass lar nicely too. So this adaptive cruise control works very nicely. Uh, in about a minute or so, it's gonna say, hey driver, you should put your hands back on the steering wheel. Uh, if you keep on ignoring it, uh, it's gonna just completely shut off the system. So, I mean, for your own safety, you should always keep your hands um, on the steering wheel. For now, it's only driving assistance, right? So you have to drive yourself. So, full throttle in dynamic mode three. Wow! Look at this guy just pulling very nicely. Five, four, three. So, I mean, the gearbox shifts very smoothly and eagerly, but limited RPM range from the diesel it just ruins all the fun. So, if you have all the money, if you have all the time, then I think you should get Audi S6 with 2.9 liter gasoline engine, please. Let me just show you the launch control system. You need to take the ESC off, put the car into dynamic mode, foot on the brake, full throttle, says launch control. So when you do this, when you launch it with the launch control, it will do 0 to 60 in just about 4.9 seconds. Uh, so it's fast. It's also efficient as well, um, but I have to do the efficiency test on the way back home. But I was driving like a maniac all day today and we still have, uh, you know, a little less than half tank. So it's very efficient. When we do uh, <laughs> test drive the whole day, um, some of them we have to refuel <laughs> before we do the night drive. So this guy is very efficient for a 
performance it had. So that's a big plus. So look, it just has no problem pulling the car. Okay. All right, guys, this has been a night drive with 2021 Audi S6. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy, and bye-bye.